Just up the coast, we went to learn about a non-migratory local resident, the California condor. Well, in 1982, the condors were down to 21 birds in the whole world free-flying, and now we're up to 140, so they're slowly coming back, and pretty soon we'll be seeing them flying all over California. So here's Rosie. Uh, she's the actual size of a real condor, which is about nine and a half feet. Come check it out. See how small you look compared to a yeah, condor? Yeah. Wow. Maybe if we get a couple people in there, you can yeah, see about the size. size. Yeah, look at Steven. <clears throat> It's the largest land bird in North America, uh -huh. and um, they can weigh up to 20 to 25 pounds. So this is an actual condor primary feather, which would go right here on the tips of their wings, and they use these and twist and turn the, each individual one. They have 10 to um, maneuver on each side, so 20 total, 10 on each wing. We jumped into our car to follow Sari and her staff to try tracking some condors. So today we're going out looking for the California condors in Big Sur. We have 26 released condors in the area. We're using the radio telemetry equipment here that Nate has. All the condors carry a radio tag like this through their wing with a tag to tell individual condors. And we're going to turn this on and pick up the radio frequencies and hopefully see a lot of birds today. Let's see if we can get a good one. Anything off that? Mm -hmm. There's two right there, circling that little knoll. It was only a matter of minutes before we located one close by. Condors have a remarkable ability to soar on thermals or currents of warm air that provide lift. This allows them to fly for a considerable distance without even flapping their wings. A condor can fly over 100 miles in a single flight and can soar over 15,000 feet high. Their enormous size gives the impression of a glider plane as it soars effortlessly through the air. Condors are scavengers and spend much of their time surveying the land and sea for possible food. In late afternoon, when the thermals begin to weaken, the condors come into roost in tall snags and cliff faces. Roosts serve as a lookout and may also serve as a social function, as it is common for two or more condors to roost together. Condors have been around since the time of the Pleistocene, when mammoths roamed the earth during the Ice Ages. It's believed that they had a 12-foot wide wingspan because of the abundance of food they had back then. 